study from researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital provides what they call critical data on COVID-19 and children. It shows kids might play a larger role in the community spread of the virus than previously thought. I'm News reporter Alexandra Leslie breaking down some of these key findings. The study involves nearly 200 children up to age 22 suspected of having coronavirus. Nearly 50 children tested positive for COVID-19 and researchers made an alarming discovery of those infected. Researchers at Mass General Hospital say they found higher levels of coronavirus in children's airways, making them more contagious. They add it was significantly higher than what's been seen in hospitalized adult COVID-19 patients. The new study's authors added if schools were to reopen fully without precautions, quote, it is likely that children will play a larger role in this pandemic. Dr. Brian Chow, an infectious disease physician at Tufts Medical Center, says while this is an important study, it does not prove children are more likely to spread the virus thing to consider when we're talking about school opening plans, um, but it's not the only study that should, should guide us. Dr. Chow says having what's called a high viral load is just one aspect that could increase the spread of coronavirus. We know that children don't cough or sneeze as forcefully, especially if they're if the younger children, say under five. So they may not be able to spread it very well through the air. Chow adds a different study about infection rates of contacts of children may provide better insight. Without knowing those types of attack rates and those infection rates, it's hard to say that just having a high amount of virus and nasal secretions means that they can transmit more effectively. Researchers also noted 51% of the infected children in the study came from low-income communities. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.